In the past two videos, we have seen how to build the flight controller and the radio receiver and transmitter for the fully Arduino-based drone project. But in this video, we will build the actual drone, joining together all the parts. So let's get started. <laughs> What's up my friends, welcome back! Let's take a look at all the parts that we need to build the entire drone. First, we will need a body. I've 3D printed mine using PLA material. You have all the STL files ready to download in the description down below. If you don't own a 3D printer, you could always cut the body from balsa wood. I've left the link for this layout in the description as well. Just print it on a piece of paper and glue the paper on the balsa wood. Then using a fine saw cut each part. Finally drill the holes and you are done. Now that we have the parts for the body, let's take a look at the other parts. I've used this 1804 brushless motor. I will build a 250 drone so we won't need big motors. 250 stands for the diagonal distance in millimeters between the two motors. To control these motors, I've used these 12 amperes electronic speed controllers. This is the flight controller that we have built in the previous video and the radio receiver. I've used 5030 triple blade propellers and this 11.1 volts LiPo battery. We will also need some 3mm screws and washers, a switch, connectors and some wires. The total weight of the drone without the battery is around 200 grams. I've made a list with all the prices that you could find in the description down below. The total price is under $100. So let's begin with the drone build. First we have to configure the ASCs and the motors. You have to make sure that the motor spins in the right direction. For that I've soldered the three wires from the ASCs to the brushless motor. The middle wire from the ASC go always to the middle wire of the motor. To change the spin direction, all we have to do is to change the connection of the other two wires one to each other. Now we should configure the PWM range of the ASCs from 1000 to 2000. For that I've used Arduino Uno. I've made this connection and upload the next code. This code will apply the maximum PWM signal to the ASCs. That will put the controller in the configuration mode when the battery is connected. All we have to do is to send the minimum value which is 1000. We open the serial monitor of the Arduino. When the message appears, we connect the battery and type the minimum value and press enter. We do this for each of the four motors. Now we have the ASCs configured to the desired range. If you use a different electronic speed controller, make sure that the range is the same or change it if not. Two of these motors have a screw that closes clockwise and the other two counterclockwise. The motor should spin in the opposite direction of the screw getting tight. That should prevent the propeller to fly away during the flight. The motor should spin in this direction, so for that we should first decide which is the front part of the drone. This will be the front part of my drone, so this motor should spin to the right, this one to the left, this to the right and this again to the left. If one of the motors spins in the opposite direction, the only thing that you have to do is to swap the two wires from the ASC. Ok, I screw in place each motor to each arm and zip tight the ASCs. Next, using 3mm screws, I fit in place each arm and solder the positive and negative wire for each ASC. To the other end of the wires, I solder a switch and the main LiPo connector for the LiPo battery following this schematic. I position in the middle the flight controller with some double tape and some screws. I supply 5 volts from only one of the ASCs using the red wire. I also connect each electronic speed controller to the PWM output of the flight controller. Remember that for each motor correspond a digital pin as shown in this schematic. 
So if I decided that this will be the front of the drone, I'll connect digital pin 3 to this electronic speed controller. 9 to this one, 10 to this one and 11 to this one. I connect the PPM pin from the radio receiver and share ground and 5 volts with the flight controller. I add the spacers, close the top board, close the screws and fit in place the radio receiver. Before I power up the drone I have to configure the multi wii For that I connect the USB to the flight controller and open the Java multi wii platform. I place the drone flat on the table and make sure that it doesn't move. I start the communication and I click Calibrate Accelerometer. Next I select Angle Mode when Switch 1 is activated and Horizontal Mode for Switch 2. These are the two switches that we have added to the radio transmitter and I'll use them to select the flight mode. I click right to upload the new settings to the board. You could also change the minimum commands here. Finally I make sure that the receiver PPM signal is connected to the flight controller and power up the radio transmitter. At this moment you should see the throttle roll, pitch and yaw values changes when moving the joysticks. This proves that the radio receiver and the PPM connection works ok. In the way that we configured the radio transmitter, we should have the middle values of 1500 for the roll, pitch and yaw when the joysticks are in the middle position. If not, make sure that you calibrate the values as we have done in the last video. Finally, I check that the two auxiliary switches work and I close the multi wii platform. I remove the USB cable. Place the drone flat on the table and I connect the LiPo battery and test if the drone turns on. After the AFC's beep, I put the throttle to minimum and roll to maximum for 3 seconds to start the motor. As you can see the motor started at spin and minimum throttle value. When I increase the throttle the motors increase their speed. You could put the drone to maximum throttle and move it around and feel how the motors change their speed depending on the drone movement and the angle. There you go, now I can go for a flight test. Add the propellers but make sure that you have two clockwise and two counterclockwise as we have seen before. The drone flies awesome. I'm not the best pilot but I can say that the drone flies smooth and is very fast. If you build a different size drone you might have to change the PID values of the flight controller. You could do that directly in the multi wii interface. In future videos I will explain how the PID works and how to make our own code for the flight controller. We will have a new video series on how to get data from the gyro module, process the PID and control the drone without the multi wii platform. This will make this project even more unique. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for next videos in order to improve this project. If you like this video give it a like and share it with your friends. That will help me a lot. Also subscribe for more videos like this one. If you consider helping my projects, also check my new Patreon page. Thanks again and see you later guys.